Familiar sight. Guess what this mountain is? This is Mount Wilson. And the reason it's familiar is it's my fourth exploration in this area. I've explored a lot of the base of Mount Wilson right up to a few hundred feet shy of the summit. Um, I've gone up, we're on Horse Thief Canyon Road um, in this direction toward the east we're um, looking at Horse Thief Canyon Road and Horse Thief Canyon. Um, if we were to turn around now and look west, we're looking at White Rock Canyon and um, we have the White Rock Canyon trailhead area for Arizona Hot Springs, which is a very popular location. And then you can see the, the cliffs there. Those are actually on the other side, the far side of the Colorado River. Uh, very beautiful area down there. And you can see the Arizona Hot Springs Liberty Bell Arch page on LasVegasAreaTrails.com to see a full video uh, demo of, of that whole area. However, today and for the last four, no, three excursions, this is the fourth, we've been focusing on this eastern direction toward Mount Wilson. Some very beautiful areas up here. Uh, we've enjoyed the, um, the Horse Thief Canyon and um, there's a um, Horse Thief Canyon loop page on Las, a Las Vegas area trails.com where we go up the whole length of Horse Thief Canyon. Uh, today we're going to streamline this trip now and just go directly to the summit of Mount Wilson. Um, imagine the views that you can see from this mountain in all directions. It's got to be one of the most spectacular 360 degree views of the Lake Mead area, um, um, all the way over to the Mount Charleston Wilderness, um, the Muddy Mountains, just there'll be so much and we'll see when we get to the top of Mount Wilson. But anyway, yeah, we're going up to the summit and um, and we've explored lots of areas on the western side. And as I mentioned, very beautiful canyons, Horse Thief Canyon. There are Horse Thief Canyon Springs, and we'll see a little bit of that. Um, and one day, I would like to just um, take a trip along the upper spine of the Black Mountains, of which Mount Wilson is a part. Uh, if you can picture being up on top of that um, peak, Mount Wilson there, and then taking a left and just traveling along that upper spine. What tremendous views all the way along the upper spine of the Black Mountains. And we'll do that someday. But for today, let's just get right to the summit of Mount Wilson. Here we go. Okay, we're on Horse Thief Canyon Road. We're about a half to two thirds of the way up to the upper end of Horse Thief Canyon Road. Just wanted to say something about the condition of this road. If you're thinking of doing it on a mountain bike, I would suggest against it because, um, as you can see, there are long, big stretches that are fairly deep sand and that just boggy down. Plus the incline is fairly um, healthy here. Um, thousand feet in, in about three miles. So that incline plus the, um, the depth of the sand makes mountain biking on this road really questionable. Even heading downhill, you could get bogged down in this sand and end up walking your bike. So, yeah, um, it's, it's deep. Anyway, 
we continue up this road and this first section up the Horse Thief Canyon Road is about three miles. And you can see, if you look closely, you can see evidence that a number of people have walked this section, which should tell you something also. Um, yeah, no, you can definitely do this in a four-wheel drive vehicle, but you're not going to make any land speed records just because of the, the depth of the sand here. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, beautiful, beautiful area around here. Now, a lot of people would look at this and say, oh, this is barren. There's nothing here. But um, just, uh, you know, if you picture the peacefulness, the quietness of this area and and the just the cleanness of the area, uh, the solitude, um, this area has been bathed in the sun every single day. Um, this, by the way, is the first, no, it's the second Saturday in April. So we are definitely pushing the limits here as far as um, when to be at this level of elevation. Um, we will, at the top of, of Mount Wilson, will be approximately um, you know, 5,000 feet or so. You can see on the page on Las Vegas area trails, I'll have more um, definite um, elevation there. Um, and you can see the tip of Mount Wilson just under the sun here. And I'm not sure how much this is coming through on the, the camera, but I can say that um, what I'm seeing here is very sketchy because of all the reflection on my screen. But that in the center is Mount Wilson. We're closing in on it. And another, um, another mile or so, we'll be up at the upper end of Horse Thief Canyon Road. And I'll show you how to bypass the dry waterfall cliff at the upper end of Horse Thief Canyon Road and continue up Horse Thief Canyon and on to the approach ridge. Um, and if you're thinking, what you know, what is that approach ridge? Well, if you look just to the right of the peak of Mount Wilson here, you can see a more gradual incline, and that is the approach ridge that we will be on. Uh, in a few hours. So, anyway, just thought I'd give you an idea of the condition of Horse Thief Canyon Road, which is the first three mile stretch of this adventure. And let's continue onward. We're on Upper Horse Thief Canyon Road and near the upper end. It's going to curve to the right here and you can see Mount Wilson, the peak there in the center, the far peak. There we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look for a ridge on the left. And we're not there yet, but in a bit, there's going to be a distinctive ridge. We ascend that ridge and take that ridge right up to the bypass of the dry waterfall that's at the end of Horse Thief Canyon Road. And just get a quick 360. Here you can see the, just the, the barren desert area, but again, very, very beautiful. And if we look over in this direction, those cliffs in the center, in the distance, those are on the other side of the Colorado River. So, uh, just gives you an idea 
where we are. We started out at the intersection of Highway 93 and White Rock Canyon. Um, there's a trailhead that either goes down to um, to Arizona Hot Springs, which is where about 99.9% .9 of the people um, go because it's a very popular spot. Um, I'm the 0.1% that decides to head up the other direction, up Horse Thief Canyon, and head for Mount Wilson. So <clears throat> I'll show you that ridge in a moment that um, that is our first ascent off Horse Thief Canyon Road. Uh, but we're headed for Mount Wilson. There it is. Okay, onward we go. We're along Horse Thief Canyon Road. We're on the upper Horse Thief Canyon Road. And I mentioned that there is a ridge we want to find. And so um, what we do after that sign that you saw in the last section, um, the road veers to the right. Just before it veers again to the left, about, I don't know, an eighth mile further, you'll see that a distinctive ridge begins to appear. And there it is. And this looks like a good approach to that ridge. Nice gradual approach. We're going to get on that ridge and that ridge is going to take us around and to the base of um, Horse Thief Canyon Road. I mean, the upper end of Horse Thief Canyon Road, just above the dry waterfall barrier. And then we'll ascend over that hump there and then descend back in, down into Horse Thief Canyon and we'll be above Horse Thief Canyon Road. So that is what we're heading for. And Horse Thief Canyon is going to be right in that V that you see up ahead in the lower portion, just above this ridge. And let's do a quick 360. Now we're looking down Horse Thief Canyon Road. We just descended through this area and then around. So this is, this is what things look like at the point where we leave the road and we ascend. Looks like there's a nice gradual ascent right here up to this ridge up ahead. And we're going to go ahead and take this. Here we go. What we're going to do now is just hug the edge of this ridge and Horse Thief Canyon Road remains just below us on the right and there you can you can kind of see spots of Horse Thief Canyon Road not too clearly right now but here's the ridge we are on and There's the canyon we're shooting for. And actually, the area that we're going to ascend over that dry waterfall is immediately in the center here. So we'll be, the ridge will be um, taking a more rapid ascent by the time we get to that point. In the meantime, we're just hugging the edge of the, the right edge of this ridge and continuing on around to um, the entrance to Upper Horse Thief Canyon. Here we go. Send this ridge and it's very gradual, which makes it nice because uh, you actually need to continue up um, this ridge that's ahead until we get to the opening above the dry waterfall. And you can look down and see Horse Thief Canyon Road below us. And you see how, um, even though this has been so gradual, we have actually ascended quite a bit. There's Horse Thief Canyon down there. And so um, this is a very nice gradual ascent. And we've just been hugging the edge of this ridge and... Um, yeah, here's a little more 360. Now you can see Frenchman Mountain coming into view. There we go. 
the summit on the left and you can see what Lake Mead looks like. Spectacular view from that summit on the French Van Mountain. I mean, not, I'm sorry, um, Fortification Hill. <laughs> it wasn't French Van Mountain, it's Fortification Hill. And um, you can see what, so go to the Fortification Hill page on LasVegasAreaTrails.com and you can see what um, the view looks like um, above Lake Mead from there. And um, speaking of French Man Mountain, yes, you can barely see it in the center, in the distance there. So yes, Fortification Hill is over here. And then now we're looking at the Black Mountains. And you can see the upper spine there. And then Mount Wilson, which is our goal. We're closing in on Mount Wilson. And so let's continue on up this ridge and um, top those dry waterfalls, descend back into Horse Thief Canyon above the dry waterfall cliff. Here we go. Down to Horse Thief Canyon Road. You see we've ascended a huge amount, but we did it so gradually that almost didn't need to break my pace. And you see Horsey Thief Canyon Road down in the distance there. And now here's a better look at Frenchman Mountain. There we go. And in front of it, that dark cone is Lava Butte. And there's a page for Frenchman Mountain and Lava Butte on LasVegasAreaTrails.com. So those would be great pages to visit. And then over this way, you can still see the tip of Fortification Hill. And there is the very summit on the left. Beautiful Mesa. Spectacular views of Lake Mead. Okay, so that's looking back. Then if we turn around, we see we continue up Horse Thief Canyon Road, and then you see um, we reach some cliffs. That's the dry waterfall right down in this area, uh, cliff. Uh, we just bypassed it. And now what we're going to do is skirt the top of this ridge and then descend back into Horse Thief Canyon, the upper canyon. And you can see the, um, well, just the terrain, Upper Horse Thief Canyon. And you can still see from this point, Mount Wilson. There it is. We'll be up there in a bit. And it took us a couple hours to get to this point right here from the, our starting point highway 93 so um, here we go let's continue on up horse thief canyon we should see two beautiful spring areas and then there will be an opening to the right we're going to take that um, additional canyon opening to the right and and then um, ascend up to um, the mount wilson western approach ridge. Okay, here we go. Up Horse Thief Canyon now. And there are two springs. And you can tell that you've reached a spring by the size of the trees. Um, these, this large a plant, um, whether it's a tree or a bush or whatever, does not grow where there is not a steady supply of water. And here we've got the water cascading down through these rocks and continuing down the canyon. So gives you an idea where we are. There will be one more spring area that's even larger. That's the area where we're going to take a right and head up uh, another canyon. So here we go.
Okay, we're approaching the second spring area in Horse Thief Canyon. And this is just full of life. You can hear birds singing and um, see lots of signs of life. Larger trees. You can see water flowing. Let's just walk through this. Listen. Compare this area to the surrounding desert. Look at the difference in plant life. This is what a little water will do. Water is truly life. As I mentioned, there's a canyon branching off to the right. That's this canyon up ahead. And then you see that ridge. That's the ridge we're heading for. That's the western approach ridge for, um, for Mount Wilson. And then you can still see the tip of Mount Wilson. So we're going to get to the top of this ridge and then just take the ridge all the way to uh, Mount Wilson. Now, the initial ascent is going to be avalanche slope and a bit dicey with a lot of loose rock. But once you get to the top of the ridge, 
then it's a fairly gradual ascent all the way to the summit of Mount Wilson. So let's just navigate through here and um, take this canyon to the right. Okay, there's Horse, Horse Thief Canyon. And looking down Horse Thief Canyon, now we, well, let's, let's just take a look at the, the walls. There's the north wall of Horse Thief Canyon. And you see we're in another canyon that's split off from Horse Thief Canyon. It's a right split. And here we're heading up this canyon. And you see that ridge. We're going to continue to up this canyon until we get to the other side of the base of that ridge. And then we're going to do quite the avalanche slope ascent to get up the ridge. Once we reach that high point, then it levels off a bit. But until we get up there, it's going to be a lot of um, avalanche slope and loose rock. Okay, here we go. The canyon that we've been ascending, but we are now at the very base of the approach ridge. So we're going straight up. Now for a trick that I use on avalanche slopes, and you can see a lot of loose rock, some small rocks, some large rocks, some boulders, and um, definitely do not put your full weight on anything because you don't know, no matter how big it is, um, how secure it is. So um, that's why um, I have my hiking poles. And there you are, made of yucca stalks, last year's yucca stalks. Beautifully straight, very, very strong. Then I wind them with twine at the upper section soak that in uh, wood glue and as I wind it around it just becomes so solid and it's a great handle. Um, another trick that I have for places like this is my knee brace and so um, I'm going to put these knee braces on and uh, they they're very compact so they they'll fit in the backpack very easily and what the knee braces do I'll show you when I've got them on. What they do is um, they give you extra stability. Um, if you're going down a hill like this, they absorb shock so that your joints don't absorb all that shock. If you're going uphill, um, they, they just give you extra stability. If you slip or if you need to crawl over a tight spot, um, you're not putting your bare knees on the um, rocks and gravel uh, because you've got that knee brace. So uh, very, very useful in situations like this. So the hiking poles and the knee brace, I'll show you the knee brace on in just a moment. Okay. Here is the knee brace on. Reason I haven't put my shoe on yet. I want to show you one more thing. Um, this is the uh, type of foot gear that I use and it's just a, a good trail running shoe. Now, of course, it doesn't have the ankle support of a boot. And um, what that means is that you just have to um, do a lot of off-road um, running on a daily basis to strengthen your ankles. You got to have very strong ankles if you're going to use this. But there's another feature here. Notice right around the tip, there's a little guard. And that guard around the upper heel um, hugs your ankle and keeps rocks and gravel out of the shoe. And believe me, the rocks and gravel are the whole um, experience we're going to have in this area. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put my other knee brace on and my um, and my shoe back on and we're heading up the avalanche slope. Well, we just ascended from down in the canyon 
and we ascended this ridge, which is the definitely the steepest area on this whole experience. But the good news is we are now on the approach ridge, western approach, western summit approach ridge for Mount Wilson. And there you have Mount Wilson right in the center. Looks a lot different once you get close to it. Uh, it doesn't have that pointy look that it has from further off. And that's why I mistook it <laughs> for not being Mount Wilson last time I was up here. Um, this time I won't. But anyway, here's the 360. And there's Horse Thief Canyon. And there's where the canyon that we took splits off from Horse Thief Canyon and heads toward us. And then at the lower part of this ridge, we ascend. And actually it was not that difficult. There was always a, um, a way to ascend. Um, you know where the stairs are. <laughs> and um, looking out in the distance here, we see Lake Mead starting to appear. And then if you look behind Lake Mead, it's in the haze, but you can see the Las Vegas Strip. And then if you look right down in this area, you see in the center a um, darker cone. That's Lava Butte, and behind Lava Butte is Frenchman Mountain. And so, um, yeah, and yeah, in the distance you could, you can actually see the Mount Charleston Wilderness, but, you know, it's too hazy a day to get a real clear shot of the Mount Charleston Wilderness. Anyway, here we are up on the ridge. Um, remember a few videos ago, we went to a place where I called it the, um, the Black Mountains Matterhorn. <laughs> that's, that's two videos ago on this page. Um, anyway, that's it, right in the center. Cool feature, just the way it looks when you're right there. And then circling around again. And now it's just a case of navigating this Western Summit Approach Ridge up to the summit of Mount Wilson. We're making decent time and and definitely we want to stand on that summit today. So onward. Continuing up the Western Approach Ridge for Mount Wilson and there you see the summit of Mount Wilson. There is a bit of um, a bluff we need to circumvent, as you can see on the right. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but we're continuing on up. Now we know from the Horse Thief Canyon Loop experience that we look down in this direction. We're looking down into Horse Thief Canyon. And we took that canyon up to, oh gosh, over this ridge in the foreground and then straight up the side of the, the mountain. Um, that's, that was the experience a couple weeks ago. And we ended up somewhere just below or just above that bluff on the right of Mount Wilson? We don't know. <laughs> We're gonna find out when we get up there. Things will look familiar. So you can see the ridge that we still need to ascend. And as we ascend, you know, look back and the view is opening up even more. 
there's Fortification Hill. And then you can see Lake Mead. And straight behind it, that um, dark cone is Lava Butte. And behind Lava Butte, the Camel Humped Mountain is Frenchman Mountain. And then to the right of Frenchman Mountain is Gas Peak, but it gets very, very hazy. Gas Peak in the Sheep Range further right from Gas Peak. And that's right about in the center, right above um, Frenchman, um, above Fortification Hill. And then straight over in this direction is behind Lake Mead, the Las Vegas Strip in the foreground, and behind that in some major haze is the Mount Charleston Wilderness. So um, you would be able to see all of that <laughs> were it not so hazy. Anyway, more is going to open up as we ascend this ridge here. So let's continue on up. We want to get up there further before we hit our turnaround point so that we can actually make the summit of Mount Wilson. Let's go. Going to ascend Mount Wilson's Western Summit Approach Ridge and you can see even more view opening up all around us looking back down Potosi Mountain right in the center. And then there's the Rainbow Mountains. And on that upper skyline, um, Mount Charleston Wilderness. And then looking down in this direction, there's Lake Mead, Lava Butte, Frenchman Mountain, and Fortification Hill. And very faintly in the background, the far background, you can see Gas Peak and the Sheep Range. Now let's turn around, take a look up. Hey, we've been here recently, a couple weeks ago, and we thought that might be the summit, but actually it's not. It's a false summit. Um, maybe that wasn't what we thought was the summit. Who knows? All I know is that that's a, another high point and um, beyond it and to the left is the actual summit of Mount Wilson. When we reach the, the summit of this high point straight ahead, we should be able to see Mount Wilson and the terrain between that high point and Mount Wilson. So let's continue on. Here I sit on the edge of this loose rocky slope and I've pretty much reached a dead end. So the challenge is going to be to get back down, which I know I can. It's just uh, going to take some time. Um, so this is, this is the, um, the summit that um, I'm going to reach today. It's that false summit before the actual summit of Mount Wilson. I'm close, but I just can't get around the next corner. So anyway, let's take a look at what we can see um, down in this direction. There's the bridge for um, I-93, our I-11 and Highway 93. Um, I-11 is on the right, goes to Nevada. Highway 93 on the left goes into Arizona, where we are. And you can see the whole, um, on the, in the very background, you can see from Potassi Mountain all the way up to the Mount Charleston Wilderness. And then in the distance in this direction, the Sheep Range and Gas Peak. And then closing in a little closer you can see lava butte frenchman mountain is behind it and now you can see 
really good shot of Fortification Hill right in the center here. And looking down, all the way down there, you can make out Horse Thief Canyon Road. It'll be nice to be back down there. And of course the <laughs> the rocky slope that I'm on here. Not a lot to hold on to and I don't trust the stability of these rocks. So I think the best bet is is really to turn around at this point. At some point, maybe I could take it wider down in the bowl down here and come around the far side of this butte and ascend that way. But that's not going to happen today. Today, the, the big challenge will be just to get down the side of this loose rocky cliff. So for now we're signing off and um, I'll, I'll see you on the ridge. We've descended about 50 feet down this slope. Just resting here a moment to collect myself before continuing on down. I've got a power bar in my throat. Okay, so, yeah, it's just very, very careful. <laughs> There's a hawk way down there. There's nothing like seeing a hawk soaring so low below you that you uh, that it looks like a uh, just a miniature toy. Um, lets you know how high you are. So, okay, yeah, the goal is get down to that main ridge and then we've got a much easier descent um, to the canyon below. And um, just such a great view of Fortification Hill. You see how I'm stalling. There's Lake Mead. And then Lava Butte and Frenchman Mountain. And here's the the cliff I'm looking at all around me. So um, and all loose rock. So it's just very, very careful, gradual um, heading down now. You definitely don't want to do it at a sprint. Okay, here we go. I guess I've stalled as much as I can. Oh, by the way, um, there's Horse Thief Canyon. And all the way down to Horse Thief Canyon Road. downward. I think I'm going to head down this area and circle around and try to hug the the left side of these rocks just below. See if there's a pathway that leads over to the um, to that main ridge down there. Okay, here we go. Back on the main ridge. So that was a bit touch and go. What I did, I was, oh, just about 20 feet from the, the top of this bluff. And I just got to a point where I could not proceed. And so I'm thinking next time I'll head around 
the right side and it looks like that might be a little more gradual we don't know but um, I'll try that next time and see how that works out <clears throat> anyway the way that I got back down I I really hugged the edge of the rocks along the top of the uh, of that ridge there all the way down just skirted those rocks finally made it down to this point where we've got a little bit more terra firma um, there should be no more difficult sections until right at the end of this ridge when we have that downward plunge but um, anyway yeah it's I didn't get to the top of Mount Wilson I got close closer than I ever have before and learned a little bit more I'll come back and and I'll attempt crossing over this um, canyon here and then attempt to head up the the right side of that bluff and maybe behind the bluff there is a something that looks more like a natural approach to the top of Mount Wilson. Mount Wilson is again uh, behind this bluff and to the left. So we live to try another day which is what we like to do. So now let's head down this ridge back down to Horse Thief Canyon, out the canyon, down Horse Thief Canyon Road to Highway 93 and call it a day.